Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be briefly, well, just, you know, quick and efficiently going over how it was that we um, used to be able to add sort of like a sky, um, you know, um, to our, our maps or to our levels and how easy it is to do it in UE5 and sort of go over, you know, certain settings and whatnot. So without further ado, this will make for a very short tutorial. Uh, I might do more like this in the future, but let's just get right into it. So this will be new world and we'll just call it the default. And we're actually good to go. So as you can see, nothing's in here. Nothing is in the world outliner, obviously, because it's a brand new level. So what it used to be is you'd have to add in a, um, see, a sky atmosphere, and then we can actually go ahead and add in a directional light. Now, when you head in the directional light in UE5, it's automatically, um, you can see we got a, a, a nice little sky going on. But how it used to be was it actually used to be deactivated uh, right off the bat. So if we actually were to type in atmosphere sunlight, this setting was actually de um, deactivated uh, by default. So you would have to turn that on. And this is how it worked in like UE4. So if you wanted to add a sky like UE4, um, this is what you would do. You would, you know, sky atmosphere, directional light, atmosphere sunlight, tick that on. And then from there, you could go to, you know, like a height fog. Uh, add that in, and as well as um, volumetric clouds. Let's see, there we go. And then, you know, from there, you 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 have a, a really nice looking um guy going on. And I mean, that's that's not even bad at all. I mean, that that takes like thirty seconds, you know. And and even even for me to just explain it, it only took about a minute, so that's not bad at all. It was very efficient. Um, but now it's even better. So I'm actually just open up a new um, new level and let's go over <laughs> how to do this. So as you can see, new world one. So, you know, this is the so this one with the UE4 version. This is the UE5 version. So you see new world. And instead of going to place actors, we just have to go to window environment light mixer. Have this little mini window here. Now, from all we have to do here is add in the same thing, basically. But however, it's kind of named a bit differently because the atmosphere of light is just another word for directional light. And so as, 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 as shown in the other level, you know, you only need one directional light. There's no point in it too. Um, so for this one, all you really want to do is click everything other than create atmospheric light one. You don't need that because that's just a second one of the atmospheric light. As you can see, if we add in a skyline, just as, as it was in the previous level, but if we add in a directional light, now we have the directional light, but it was actually called create atmospheric light zero. So then from there, we can add in a sky atmosphere, uh, volumetric cloud, height fog. And you can see it's the exact same process. Just um, <laughs> it's just in, in one window and it's just like very efficient, very fast. I mean, you could do it all in like five seconds, really. And, and like even if I were to add in this create atmospheric light one, that's just adding another directional light, and that's actually like comp uh, completely uh, useless. And obviously, we don't want two directional lights for you know one kind of level lighting. And so, let's just go ahead and open that window up. And as you can see, when you remove that additional directional light, great atmospheric light one reappears. So we can leave that as is, and we're technically already done. Now let's go over you know how to move the sun real quick. Because I'm just add this in here because a lot of people might not be. You know too well uh, known about it. So it used to be a you used to just have to like rotate. Um, let's go ahead and use the rotate tool. Rotate the sun, and you know now you have you know night and you have day. This is sort of like a like a sunset vibe right here. But it's actually uh, better than that now. So, <laughs> and I'm not even sure if this used to be in UE4. Don't quote me on it, whether it was or wasn't. So I'm not saying I'm not sure, but I know for a fact it's in UE5. So all you have to do is really just hold Control L in this little gizmo. It's very temporary. It'll appear. But once you're holding down those two keys, you can just use your uh, your mouse, not even clicking anything. Um, and, and then you can see you can clearly rotate it uh, to your liking. And it's, it's, it's chill. It's a nice little gizmo. And of course, when you let down, uh, when you let go of Control and L, you can no longer move the sun with the uh, with the mouse, but the gizmo disappears only a few short seconds later. So you know if, if I needed like a, if I'm at like an afternoon vibe here and I wanted more of like a sunset, Control L, lower it down, and we're good to go. So that's how you quickly add in you know a new sky sort of uh, vibe to, to your level. And like I said, UE4 version 
it was still quick. It wasn't difficult in any way, shape, or form. But it's just in UE5 version, it's just it's even more efficient and that's impressive as it is. So I just hope you, you know, learn some quick tips from this tutorial. And you know, I wish you the best in your UE5 endeavors.